Like, I'm usually a dickhead if I have a reason to be a dickhead. If you're a cunt to me, I'm gonna be a dickhead back. That's how that works, okay? I usually am very quiet, very chill type of guy, but if a woman starts nagging me like my mother, talking down to me, threatening me with breakups, and all this bullshit, bye, you know, you can leave anytime you want. You're a woman, you're empowered, right? Go the fuck on. But don't, don't complain you can't find a good guy. You had a good guy and you fucked up. Bad. And they, and they don't even care. They don't care, gentlemen. They're after resources, your money, and your time. They don't care. They, they'll say, you need to change. You need to do this. You need to do that. If they cared again, they'd still be with you. So the point I'm making is, they do that so they can dick hop. That's, that's the incentive, right? They're going to try to dick hop. That's fine. But it, it's only fine when you're in your 20s because you're, you still have your youth. And like the um, hippo comment I just made a second ago, women who dick hop in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s, and then finally want to settle down when they're 50, and their vagina looking like a hippopotamus's motherfucking mouth wide open. If you haven't seen one of those, you, you should go look and see what that looks like. That's what your vagina is going to look like at 50 plus if you keep hopping on dick. So why would any decent dude take leftover trash? Because that's basically what that is. That's like a bunch of gum being spit into a wrapper. That's what it looks like. Don't believe me? Go look it up right now. Stop the video and go look. Why would a guy, why would a decent man want garbage? So here's what happens when ladies dick hop, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in perspective for women here so they can learn from the master himself, okay? Because <laughs> they're really stupid. They don't, they don't seem to get this shit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to educate them because they're really dumb. That was a joke, by the way. I, I know how to say educate. I'm just being sarcastic. Anyways, let's get into it. When a woman, she, like, dumps a guy and says, I'm not happy, but, you know, whatever excuse she uses... She's dick hopping, okay. Let's say she's 35, 36, 37, 38, and she still wants to act like the hot, banging 20 year old she thinks she is in her mind. God, that just says she hasn't grown up, to be honest. But, you know, okay. Let's say she does that. Eventually, that's gonna backfire, right? Especially if she's a single mom with kids, or a kid, right? Because. That's a lot of baggage to put on a new relationship, being a single mom. So a guy will walk in, pump and dump, and he'll leave. Right? That's what he'll do. And that's going to happen probably once, twice, three times, maybe four. Maybe she finds one beta guy that's, you know, decent and willing to put up with her shit. But she fucked him over, too. That's because that's who she is. That's just how women are, right? So, let's say that shit happens, right? She bunny hops to a new penis, and you're left in the dust, and you feel, you know, you're depressed, you're eating Cheetos and touching your nipples or something. I don't fucking know. Whatever guys do when they're depressed, right? Point being, gentlemen, don't, don't be upset or sad. She's done this before she even met you, too, right? And the best part is, she'll come back, right? Because women like this, they always come back. Because the new guy they're fucking, the grass is always greener, dude, he's gonna fuck them over. Karma's gonna get her, right? Because you, that's just how karma works. Karma's, uh, if you believe in karma anyways, it's an energy that basically says, you fuck somebody over, I'm gonna hit you full stop. That's pretty much what happens. Every, I've seen it happen countless times, too. I've seen women, like, cheat on their boyfriends with other dudes and leave, you know, leave a guy for another dude. And I shit you not, the bitch becomes super overweight, has some more children, right? And the guy's nowhere to be found, right? So at that point, it's like, sweet justice. She's got more of a zoo to take care of. Empowerment. Mm, full stop, baby. Fuck yeah. So, and I laugh at it because... When she fucks the good guy over, the guy that's got no kids, right? Like moi, myself. It's funny because you realize I dodged a lot of child support. <laughs> I dodged a huge bullet. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. Good. You're like the Queen of England. Thank you so much. 
So the point is don't feel bad, gentlemen. Don't 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 sit there and feel like, oh man, I wish I could be with her, but you know, no. No, no, no. She made that decision, let her stick by it. Support her. I wouldn't even say support her. Let just pretend to support her, like mentally. Like pretend like you go girl, you know, like say that in your head. Cause at that point, you're gonna realize you're doing yourself a huge favor. She's not worth it. If she was, again, she'd be with you still. So the point I'm making though is is the MGTOW Reddit, always a good read right it, it'll teach you quite a bit of just how women are that's just how women are they are not loyal they're not dogs they'll never be dogs dogs are loyal women are not loyal women have no concept of loyalty if they did they wouldn't be dumping every decent dude that they come across still trying to look for dick you know like I've seen guys I've seen I've read on the reddit of dudes like good husbands by the way and remember I just I just had one picture open of a buff guy, but, um, and he's, he's in fucking Turkey, he's in another country, he looks like James Bond at his villa or some shit, and he's having a great time, he's working out, getting fit, he's 22, so he left the states to go to Turkey, you know, and he spent money to do it, but he's buff, he, ain't no fucking faggot, dude, that guy is ripped, holy shit, I'm a little jelly of that guy, I'm a dude, I'm a dude and I'm jelly of that guy, that guy was ripped. But he looked like he was living his life and having a good time. And he even said, I'm poor, I'm pure MGTOW. Like, he's not fucking with women. Good for him. Good for him. That's the way to do it. That's how you be an alpha male right there. So, the same goes for basically, you know, any other... I've seen, like I said, I've seen on the Reddit of dudes, boyfriends, husbands, good guys on this Reddit that have been fucked over by these fucking westernized cunts and they don't deserve it and they share their story because nobody else wants to hear this story right the news crews don't want to hear their story they're too busy covering stupid feminism and their dumb logic which they have none and you hear their stories and all the MGTOW guys are supporting these men who have been fucked over by women that's a good group that's like that's like your AA meeting but without beer and alcohol being the topic of discussion. Instead, you switch it from alcohol to my ex-wife cheated on me and took my kids and my family and tore the family apart and, you know, just dumb cunts. Dumb cunts, right? Dumb cunts. That's what, they're, that's what they are. That's what they're good for. They're dumb cunts. So, the way I see it, gentlemen, ladies, especially ladies, if you want to keep a guy, you got to quit being a cunt, right? You got to quit nagging pestering him to do shit like I've had women tell me you need to change this this and this and that's the other thing you ever hear a woman sorry a woman tell you you need to change this I don't like this about you but she'll never stick around when she asks you to change right she will only come back once you've done enough change that suits her needs right at that point it's a lot easier to say no it's even easier to say no when you realize she's trying to dick hop right because again if you want leftover garbage you know buffalo looking not buffalo sorry uh, hippopotamus looking vagina you know because she's been fucked so much in her life and you want to take that back by all means gentlemen if you're a cuck and you want to take that shit back go right the fuck ahead but in my mind and being an alpha male I know something called the stock market exists and like the stock market women in my head have a value so example if I really like a woman I care about a woman quite a bit her values pretty high the moment she sleeps with more than one dude that's not me her value drops it, it falls into a black crater abyss like bankruptcy that's what it falls into and that means I'm no longer gonna say yes to it I'm no longer gonna respect it I'm no longer going to appreciate or do anything for it Okay, and I've had women come back to me that have done shit like that thinking that their value game was still strong guess what I told them get the fuck out of here my name's been Joy hope this inspires you not to put up with any bullshit from a female because you don't need to gentlemen just go look at the MGTOW reddit there's guys in other countries that have traveled you know they've saved lots of money they've traveled to other countries 
They look very happy. No woman's there with them, nagging them. And the best part is, women have to serve them in these other countries. Like, some of these guys go to, like, Thailand and, and everything, and they're just, the women there are just so much better than um, Western women, most times, depending on where you go, of course. But, like, I saw, uh, I think, was it Miggy 101? Miggy 101 went to, to Thailand. I think he's been a couple times now, but he, he went back. And uh, I've even seen another YouTuber who went to uh, Thailand who's had relationships with Western women, but he went to Thailand and wasn't planning on meeting anybody. He met a woman there, and they've been engaged, and they seem happy. And she's, you know, but he didn't bring her back to, uh, no, he wasn't from the States, sorry. He was from the U.K., but he left his life in the UK working 9 to 5 and being a miserable, you know, corporate shill to pay the feminist bullshit that uh, he moved to Thailand and um, just kind of traveled around for a bit and then eventually he got married to a woman in Thailand and he, well, engaged and he seems very happy and they've been together about four years now. So seems to be working for him I hope it I hope it lasts for him too but that's the point I'm trying to make right other some other countries are just better better alternatives for men better alternatives for uh, men to find women in because Western women ain't worth shit now they're just not worth a dime they're not worth your time they're not worth any money they're easy to fuck and, and that's it they have no concept of good relationships they don't want good relationships they don't respect men. And if they ain't gonna respect us, why the fuck should we respect them? Oh, I know. We don't need to. I don't need to sit there and play that losing game. And I also guarantee you, too, I could be wrong, but I'd have to look. I'm sure the laws in Thailand are not just in favor of women. I'm sure they're much fairer. I know the laws in Saudi are strictly for men. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty fucked up. But that's you know we kind of already knew that. That's basic knowledge. But um, I I do find it interesting that if I could live anywhere, like full time, it would be Saudi, straight up. Woman doesn't do as I say, she can get stoned to death. Think about it. Think about it, ladies. Imagine living in a country like that for a day. Yeah, all, all you American thotties out here would be fucking killed on the spot. It, it would, it, no contest, because that's a man's country. That's a real man's country. And I, I, don't get me wrong, there's some other fucked up shit Saudi does, but I respect the way they treat women there. That's for damn sure. No bullshit, no sympathy, no empathy. You want to be a lying cunt, cheating whore? Here's a stoning. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. I don't feel bad at all. That makes me a bad person, I know. I'm terrible. Judge me based on all five minute video retards, because that's what you fucking fem Nazis do all the time. Anyways, my name's been Joy. Point is, gentlemen, don't fucking bother if you're a Western man. Don't waste time. Don't invest. Just leave them to their own devices and watch them self destruct on their own, because it's more fun to watch than to be blown up in a unit of that crap right if she's cheating on you sleeping with other dudes she deserves she deserves what she gets which isn't going to be love and compassion she thinks it will it, it won't i've seen people try the grass is always green routine every single time and they're always shocked when the guy won't commit and then they come back to the dude who was good to them or who was nice to them blah 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 blah, blah. but he can say no Right, And he usually does say no, because he goes from being a simpy guy worrying about you and thinking about you to alpha male status. Fuck this bitch. If she really loved me, she'd be with me. My name's been Joy. Have a good one. Hope my guidance and advice has helped you on the path to being a better successful man. Ladies, hope my advice has taught you not to be a cunt to decent dudes, because... You're never going to get them again. Like, if, if you want to keep being a cunt to them, you can go dick hop as many dudes as you want, ladies. Go right ahead. That's your right. You're allowed to do so. But don't don't expect a decent guy when he starts making a buttload of cash to take you back with that fucking hippopotamus vagina that you got because it ain't going to happen. So, my name's been Joy. 
See you guys next time.